morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in this crazy world. It is 10 to 7 in the morning and it's already blooming hot. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hot weather, don't mix. Okay, so this video is going to be recorded over a few days because I want to show you the process and show you, talk about why I do these videos. There will be time skips and chapters below um, in the play bar and in the description. So skip to whatever part you want to skip to, you know, to let me stop you. So the first part will be talking about why I do these videos and what I get out of it if I do and what I hope to achieve. So what, why do I do these videos? Because I want to share my life experience. I want to use this mainly to document how my mental health is and how I'm managing to sort things out and do things properly, you know. My mind has always been complex and it's changing and I want to lock it all and record it all. So that's one of the reasons. Second reason is because I love video editing, I love creating for YouTube, I love being a content creator. It's a big passion and it, I want it to do it. What I am to achieve out of it, I don't know. I mean, my main aim is to just to be there for people, you know, just to be there, try and talk sense, try and be someone relatable kind of thing, someone who can hopefully help someone who's going through mental health issues. Um, not help us in doctor and GP, but help us in someone they can listen to, um, maybe then get some help kind of thing. There's lots of avenues why I do these videos and mainly it's just to share my experiences, share my thoughts. It's like the video I did the other day about Donald Trump. You know, I know I'm not American, but I want to give my views on it. You know, it's one of them things. That's what I want to do, you know. And I've mentioned this a few times, but when I was younger, watching the film Wayne's World, there was a story, a film about two blokes who have their own cable channel and do silly things and stuff like that, you know, and go on an adventure. And I always thought, I'd like to have my own cable channel. YouTube, you know, this is what I've dreamt about since I was in my teens. But YouTube wasn't available then, you see, so, you know. <laughs> So what else I want to get to in this, this video is show you what video editor I use and show you how a little bit how I edit, not all of it, just a little bit. I'll edit this video and show you little bits, you know. How I do the thumbnails, how, you know, that kind of stuff. You know, generally, when I record these in the mornings, so now I said it's 6.53 now. Why am I doing this in the morning? Because, you know, I wake up at five, watch a bit of YouTube, Get a shower, get get dressed, get ready by about normally about sevenish, but it's early today, and then on Monday to Thursday I watch EastEnders on BBC Player because it's available after six o'clock in the morning. Big EastEnders fan, I know. <laughs> and don't shoot me if you're American, then you, you won't understand. And and then I just get the camera out and record. Sometimes, sometimes I'll plan it the day before, sometimes I just get the camera and film without planning. Depends on my mood, depends what I want to talk about. And then normally, 7 is recorded, then by 7.30 it's edited, and then it's compressed, and then it's uploaded to YouTube, ready for that evening, or the afternoon. And normally, within an hour and a half of filming, it's on YouTube, because it's so straightforward to edit and upload, you know add the text, add the such and such and such and such music and it doesn't take long at all because it's a straightforward talking video you know, not like an out and about where you have to edit bits and bits and b-roll and stuff like that, you know, it's like you know. I love that but you, you can't do that daily, I can't do that daily so that's why these daily videos are me sitting down mainly and just chatting so yeah, so keep watching the next parts um, hopefully it's give you some insight on how I do stuff if you want to see a full video on editing, let me know. Or any like the thumbnails, let me know. I'm only going to show you little clips, you know, in the process. 
I don't know how many of my phone now, but I want to show you the setup. That's what I was just recording into DJ Action 4. With a small cage and a light at the top. And excuse that, I'm getting a new radiator fitted. <laughs> and then on the tripod, you know. And then that's what I just recorded the video on. There you go. And also the DJI Mark II, which I was holding. No? Yeah. So I'm going to show you now is the editing process. So this is where I put the trying to find where I put the intro in. So I'll play it back a bit. I'm not playing the audio from the video. <laughs> so I find the point and then pause it, then hit the scissors icon on the screen. This is using Filmora, the latest version. So yeah, so that's what do that. And then you keep present settings and then play it back and then yeah it's there and then I then start to think about adding the text because I say 6.50 in the morning so I want to try and emphasize that which I don't normally do but I will do for this video so yeah so there you go put the text on the screen and then I find out how short it needs to be and where it needs to be placed so I'll play it back a bit that's a bit too long so I need to shorten it and then find out where to place it when I say 6.50 in the morning so there you go, I say it, and then I can move the, the text to the correct place. So there you go. And then I put more text in because I mentioned check in the description box, which is different on different systems. So that's why I put my very on different devices, on devices. I don't want to put that, but I'm going to start putting that from now on. So when I do chapters, and this video needs chapters. <laughs> Yeah, so I make sure that is a bit too long, so I'll cut it down a bit. Yeah, uh, I really need to add some sound effects to that when it pops on the screen, but that's a different story. This is the music I'm going to put on, um, which you can hear at the moment. This Filmora has a really good way of doing stuff, so you find out where you want it. And then, yeah, place it just before the opening credit. And then it's the volume. I normally put it on thir minus 30 to minus 35. Uh, play it back to see what it sounds like. In extending the music, that's what film are good. You can use AI to extend the music to the length of the video. So it gets, it checks the audio and places the music, the beats and stuff, and it stretches it out to make it, you know, that's what I love about film or that's a good option. So that's why this music is in this video, because I can do that. So yeah, I get that done. Then I did film some parts on my mobile phone, which I put on there to show you what I recorded with. And then I'm going to put a background to that, to that which we'll see in a few seconds. So yeah, so once I get the video sorted, I have to adjust the volume because my phone volume is lower, so the volume will be different. I'm not using the DJI for plus DJI Mic 2, so I just raise it best I can. And then I try and find a background for it. And so this is what it looks like when it's all set up. Yeah, you got that kind of to make it a bit stand out, a bit different, you know what I mean? And that's just, that's that. That's a little bit of the video editing. Um, yeah. So what do you think of that so far? So the next is the thumbnails and stuff like that. So I'll describe that when I can. <laughs> 